A question arose today, proposed by the inner voice of my soul, the inner thoughts of my consciousness. I thought of this. I thought of all the bottles, alcohol, all the beers sustained by fears, yet shed no tears of loneliness. Mirrors expose my transparencies as I look through them. These thoughts sustain from, pertain from, heartless persons. A history of heartless actions, infractions, and fallacies. I realize the most guilty person isn't anyone else but me. Am I that heartless person? I become so overwhelmed with the attitude of, if you want to step, step, because you won't find anyone else better. And although I have this in my mind as fact, what lacks is proving this notion. Then again, if her or she is really into me, why should there be a need? It must be proven with the actions that are even unconscious to me. The person I display should be the same person my thoughts convey, but sometimes it's not. And even if I don't act upon them, I write them, recite them, and say them verbatim. But don't be afraid of them, because to be afraid of my paradigms of the words I put together in, in rhyme within time reveal the real me. But don't get confused. I try to honestly express myself in every word I say. It's just while thinking of the words I carefully choose to use before I act, I also think of how will you react. Then it turns into a game of words where the truth lies but chooses to hide behind my ego. It's a game of arbitrary signs. It's a game of arbitrary signs. It's a game of arbitrary signs where the truth lies but chooses to hide. And I just want to say, screw the games. Screw the arbitrary signs. Screw the truth hiding behind lies. We are two beings, and I wrote these words down to describe who is me. So come find out what it means, and I'll tell you.